everybody and good morning it's half past ten and as you can probably tell I'm still in bed but uh, today I decided to do a vlog because you know why not I haven't actually recorded anything in a long time so it's a little bit of a bummer but um hope you liked this vlog i think i'm about to get out of the bed and get started with the day Okay, so due to the time it is already, I just washed my face, as you saw, know, and I'm going to go to go to have breakfast now, and then I would just put on clothes and brush my teeth and everything that after having breakfast. But because I have low battery, I'm gonna be recharging that while I'm eating breakfast, so I will have no clip from breakfast. And it's also good because I'm eating breakfast with my grandparents, and they were just pretty like asking me a thousand of things so but yeah the next clip will already be up here again and no food okay so this is what you get to see right now it's a little bit difficult to show the whole outfit i graduated in june from high school yay everything happy and then from applying to universities, I only applied to Norway, because in Spain I confused the like the deadline between international and national students, because I was seeing myself as a national, but I'm international, so stupid me. And in England I applied, but like in the UK, that's the system there, uh, the teacher needs to write something about you, and my teacher didn't do that. Because, you know, he didn't have time. So, so then I only have Norway. And, technically, I never, I'm, if you know in the bio, that says, like, I'm a Norwegian girl. And living in Spain. Like, the thing is, I never, I moved to Spain when I was two years old. So, since then, I've been living in Spain. And I actually don't know how it is, how it is to live in this country, you know. My whole life has been in Spain. And, yeah, I moved there when I was two years old. I don't think anybody can remember what they did when they were like one and two years old in another country. So all I know is basically Spain. So I thought it would maybe good to just uh, maybe go back to my roots and you know tr try to live in Norway and all that kind of stuff. And the thing is because I never lived in Norway or anything at all. I was just like maybe like I wanted to live like somewhere like I knew so I was just like mostly in like my hometown and yeah it was basically like either my hometown or nothing so, so knowing that only two of the degrees i had was in the university of my hometown my chances are really really little especially counting there was like a record of how many people searched for the same degree as i did at the same university there were like too many people for too few places so i mean when i when i saw the numbers and like online how many people had searched and all that i just knew that i wasn't going to get in this was and this i got on july so then i mean my boyfriend were in new zealand when i got this news so my my day was just like it was like this but i'm just like sometimes just like you know i'm gonna take a gap here i'm just gonna take it slow and see what happens and just kind of try to memorize just continue enjoying our vacation so then just like other possibilities i could have i the main thing i really wanted to do was au pair that was like my thing like i wanted to do au pair like even i didn't want to even go i wanted to go to university i just wanted to do au pair and if you don't know what it is it's basically like they I think usually you go to another country, either by country of choice or what where they need, and you take care of the children of a family, because maybe they are too busy with work and other things, so you 
driving to school to kids, making my food, clean the house, help them, the kids with homework and kind of things. Like just kind of a full-time babysitter, I will guess. And you live with the family. But my parents didn't let me because there have been like too many rumors of bad things going on with that. So after several attempts of trying to convince them, no, they didn't let me. So I was like, okay, no a pair for me. My current situation, a little bit. Uh, when I finished this trip in traveling around the world, the last trip was the last plane. So um, yeah, the last place was New Zealand, and then from London, and then I had a plane ticket to Norway because supposedly, if I was lucky enough, I was going to go to university. Neither of that happened. So that led me to me being a little bit lost being here in Norway. So then I've been applying to many, many, many. I feel like many jobs I no kidding probably search almost hundred jobs I haven't got any offer and 60% of them haven't even answered me but I'm just assuming that I are not gonna accept me the way because the deadline was already some some weeks or even a month ago so I'm like okay don't even answer me. You know, I have nothing to do better to do with my life. So I mean, things here are not going so good. I mean, I've always been here, like visiting it. Well, not visiting, but like, me, like visiting my family and kind of stuff. And that's different because then I'm just like, I find people now just like I'm kind of moving to Norway. No. Then okay, I'm gonna say there are things I like here. If I'm comparing with Spain, that's been like my, my home, and it's my home. There are things here that I do like more in compared to Spain. Like just like, but that's, I think that's just everywhere. Like there are pros and cons with er every country. But when I see like the whole picture again, in this country, I'm just gonna, no, I'm no. It's just like, no, take, no. So I've been trying to convince my parents for a long time now to just take me back to Spain because mm, I'm losing my mind here. And they're just like, but you can try to work and get a job. I'm like, oh yeah, I already applied to almost 100 jobs. Like, it's no kidding. 100 of jobs. And I haven't gotten any offer. I was, so then I started because I was just tired of only applying job here. So then I'm, and I, well... I was just like, okay, I'm gonna just try to apply something in Spain. Well, just here and there. And suddenly I just came across, I don't even know why. I just started to this one kindergarten in my area. I just like, why not? I'm just, it's like, it didn't have like, it didn't say that I didn't have any jobs like offers or anything, but I'm just like, you know, I'm just gonna apply if they need, or maybe like sometimes to bring, because like if somebody gets sick, I'm like, well, like whatever. I'm just like, I'm losing my mind. I have nothing to do. Is well, now it's like the beginning of September. I've been here for a month. Nothing is settled, settling down. I'm just kind of frustrated. I want to go home to Spain. So yeah, my situation is not so good right now yet. Well, it is now. When whenever I spell it, all the situation. So I, I'm good now. But uh. I need to explain until we get to the happy ending. <laughs> so basically, my situation now. I am moving back to Spain. <laughs> the at the end of the month. I'm so excited over it. I'm just counting down the days. Kind of saying that I've been living in Norway in two months and goodbye Norway. So I am moving back to Spain and I have an interview with this kindergarten, well, not kind of interview because I mean they don't really kind of know anything about me, but I just wanted to have like meet me in person and just talk to me and then see what they could arrange, they said. So I mean we'll see whatever happens from there. So I mean I still haven't got a job but I'm 
hoping pretty much that I'm getting it. It's not a full-time job, it's just only for a period of time, I think. But I mean, it's better than anything, because the thing is, the thing I really wanted this year was to job with the children, or anything similar, to see if I actually want to study early childhood education, that has been my only main, like, attraction to any study. So, we'll see. I mean, it, I just take anything that has to do kind of with children, just to see if I like it or not, that's the thing. So, right now, I am just kind of waiting for my friend to come. I don't know when she will be here. Okay guys, so we have been to IKEA, as you can probably tell by the last clip. And, oh well, the slime didn't go so well, I'm gonna show you when I get home. It was not good. But we went to IKEA and they have started with this either vegan or vegetarian, I'm not quite sure, hot dogs. And I thought I was gonna try it and I have ketchup on it. And I have a friend here staring at me. She doesn't want to be recorded. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. I mean, I'm not vegetarian or vegan, so it's a little bit weird because I'm not used to like so much vegetables or I don't even know what's what it's made of. But it tastes a little bit. It tastes a little bit of Tex-Mex. I don't know why. But overall, I think it was it was great. I mean, good that they have like more choices. I think I feel like. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna end this vlog right here and now because I mean it's getting not late but I'm not going to do any, like anything special right now to the bed so basically I'm gonna show you this we did slime it was not a success at all I'm gonna show you I kind of have two so the first one I have is this one and it's just hard but if I don't know it's just really weird it's not it's not slime it's not how slime is supposed to be and this one that we have in the kit thing I mean it's better it's like you can touch but it's still like if you sit like there it's just like still a little bit weird you know it's not it's difficult to show and do this with the sound so it's not how slime is supposed to be. So if I take a piece, like, you know, I don't know. It's just like play though. Like that's, and it's a little bit like, I don't know. Weird, I don't know. I don't even know what to call this. But yeah. I mean, I can suppose say it's fun to play with when I have nothing better to do. So that was the result of our beautiful attempt of making slime and then we've been on the road trip to Ikea as you probably saw and it's been my day and I hope you liked it thanks for watching give it a thumbs up if you like it subscribe down below and I will see you next week bye